So let's look at a couple more examples where we need to find unknown angles using algebra. And we'll be using the different properties of angles. So namely notice that we have a straight line here and we're also told that we have a 90 degree angle. So there are two different ways to look at this. One is that this entire angle here, the angle of a line is equal to 180 degrees. So we could add these three angles together, this 90 degree, this 6x minus 2 degree angle, and this 20 degree angle, and set them equal to 180. Or we could recognize that if this right angle, if this is a 90 degree angle, then this also would be a 90 degree angle, these two angles added together. Since again, 90 plus 90 would give us 180, which is the angle of the entire line. So in other words, these two angles are complementary. So complementary angles add up to 90 degrees and we can just set up that equation. So let's say the 6x minus 2 degree angle plus the 20 degree angle is equal to 90 degrees. So here, since all of our units are in degrees, we can drop the parentheses. So we just have 6x minus 2 plus 20 equals 90. And let's combine like terms. So notice that we have minus 2 plus 20. So that would just be plus 18. And now we just have this two-step equation where we want to get x by itself, so we need to cancel out the multiplication by 6 and the addition by 18. And it's simpler to get rid of addition and subtraction first, so let's subtract 18 on each side so that we get 6x is 90 minus 18, which is 72. And lastly, we need to cancel out this multiplication by 6. We will divide each side by 6. 6 divided by 6, that is just 1, so we get x is 72 over 6, which is 12. So this is what we think is the correct answer, but we want to double check our work. So to check this, we're just going to plug back in x equals 12 into our different angle measures here. So it would just go in here, so we'd have 6 multiplied by 12 minus 2, and 6 times 12, that's 72, minus 2 is 70. And this is going to be in degrees. So we have a 70 degree angle for this one here, and a 20 degree angle for this one here, and 70 plus 20, that does add up to 90. So this is the method you want to use to check, just to make sure that you're on the right path here. And because these are complementary, because we plugged it back in and it did work, we can feel confident that x does in fact equal 12. So let's look at one more of these. And with this example, we have this straight line broken into three different angles. But remember, when you have a line that the angles that form that line these add up to 180 degrees. So since the angle of a line is 180. And we can just add these three together and set up an equation and set that equal to 180. So let's do that. We have this x degree angle plus this middle angle, the 100 degree angle, plus the 3 times x degree angle. And all of this is equal to 180. So from here, let's just combine like terms. So we have x degrees and 3x degrees, so that is 4x degrees plus 100 degrees equals 180. And with this two-step equation, we want to cancel out addition and subtraction first. So let's cancel out the plus 100 by doing the opposite. We will subtract 100 on each side so that we get 4x degrees equals 80 degrees. And lastly, we want to cancel out this multiplication by 4. We will divide each side by 4, and 4 divided by 4, that's just 1, so x degrees is 80 degrees divided by 4, which is 20. And from here, this is what we think is the answer, but let's plug this back in and see if this makes sense. So this would just be 20 degrees. 3 times x degrees, that would be 60 degrees. 
And if we add all three together, we have 60 plus 100, that's 160, plus 20, that is 180. So we checked it, and this answer makes sense.